What is the difference between a general partner and a limited partner? Okay, so very good question. So again, when I first came into real estate, when someone buy a, real, a building, it would typically they bought the building themselves, just like you buy a house. Mm-hmm. If you bought a house, you bought a house for $300,000, you put together the deposit, the down payment for $75,000, you took a loan for $225,000. You didn't take partners in your house. The same thing happened with buildings. For the most part, commercial real estate was bought by someone who had enough money together. Mm-hmm. They were buying a million-dollar building. They put down $250,000. They, they, they borrowed $750,000. If they couldn't afford it, let's say the building went to a million five and they only had $250,000, right. right. in that case, they would go and see someone else that was also a buyer of real estate and say, you know, let's buy this together. Either half 50-50, 60-40, 75-25, one-third, mm-hmm. two-thirds. And they pretty much went in evenly even risk, even reward, and one of them would take a little bit extra money to oversee and manage the property. As time started progressing, mm-hmm. and the internet allowed people to buy things on a more national basis, and data, it was people knew more things that were going on, and banks, and, and Wall Street started lending, and there were opportunities to get, get bigger checks and bigger mm-hmm. funds, people said, why don't I start taking in friends and family? So in a transaction where somebody buys a deal themselves, they're the partner, there's only one partner. If somebody takes in friends and pa- family, mm-hmm. then legally, how is it broken out? Who has the say to do what? So general partner, that's the general partner. Gen- you know, similar to have like a general manager and mm-hmm. in in someone who follows sports, right. they have the general yeah, manager. The he, make, sure. he makes all the decisions. Mm-hmm. There can be many partners. So the general partner typically is the one that is executing all the contracts, all the agreements. The limited partners are limited. They're limited partners. And they have just a limited say, limited rights within the transaction. Typically also, if something goes sour and the bank wants to look to somebody to help them out, they're going after the general partner, the GP versus the limited partner. I love the honor of interviewing C-level executives and sharing their great advice and perspective on Mind Your Business. I'd love to get your feedback. Post it in the comments below and subscribe. You'll never miss an edition of Mind Your Business.